Hi, welcome to Technology for Noob. And today I would be speaking or sharing a Tableau dashboard where I would be doing a path tracking. I would explain what a path tracking is. So majorly it's kind of I have a data of somebody who has traveled somewhere or over a, who has moved over a room and we would be tracking his path on Tableau dashboard or we would be visualizing what are his pattern on going through that room or super store or some anywhere but majorly it has been used on IoT devices but this is a visualization completely on Tableau there is no other tool involved on this particular one so just for a demo I would like to share so this is the one where I ha I'm using Tableau 10 for now and as you can see now I have a floor map I mean it's a random floor map which I have taken from Google search and these are the paths if you if you notice so if I take this track particular one so this person started from here it went up to there and then his his path hand here somewhere then this another routes people have gone through this direction right so this explains a particular entire paths of any number of people who are present in the database now there is another way which where we can use the path and we can visualize this differently so this is the another one where I can use one more thing uh, I would just do that if I do index and pages so you see if, if I started play now you see this person started his and it moved and I can do one more thing just to make it more appealing so now you see this this is how his path is right and then the another person came in the store it moved this way then somebody coming from the top so this is a good way of understanding how your customer behave in your store or we can use Tableau for a short time proof of concept where we can do all this stuff right so I do have another view that is path for individual so if if I just do this if I use ID uh, no let let me just show another one so here I have index now now if you see this is one person and I want to show all and if I just do play now this all are the very first step of all the person then the third then the fourth now you see this is the path seventh path eighth path of all the people of which I have tracked their paths so now let's let's start how to prepare this kind of visualization in Tableau so the very first thing which we need to understand is how to prepare prepare our data so because data is all if you have data in which Tableau can visualize then your work is very much easy otherwise it would be a little bit problem on doing it so I will show you how my data looks like so I have prepared one data and it's a dummy data I would make I would share it with you all so now you see this is how my data looks like um, not this one this one so what I have here is I have the paths I have some start time end time it's not that kind of a problem here then I have this direction right and then I have this x and y coordinate of the person so if I take this one person here I have his x and y then similarly I have another again having x and y for so I have total if I need to show how many unique people so I have up to m right so this is one thing okay so now once you have seen the data now let's let's create a new tableau file where we would be doing all this stuff and now we need to connect the data so I am going coming here I am connecting with this data how this data looks like I would like to show you one more time 
um, here if you see IDs index now it's very interesting to understand one thing why I have index as another column here and if you notice so index is continuous here I have everything 0 to till end I mean it's not breaking anywhere I, I will share the importance in some time so let's coming back to the worksheet what I need to do is first of all I need to describe or confirm what are my data points are here and index must be dimensions so that it can make a track of the path and this x and y should be numbers and I have the IDs that is completely fine so this is how my ID looks like and if I remove the ID for now and I just drop the index so now you see this is how it's coming so one thing to notice here is you have X in your vertical axis and Y in your horizontal axis which we need to shift now and I have done that work now so now this is how it looks like now the very important thing which I need to do is to get my map or floor plan in this chart so how to do that go to map background images select the data add image browse and this floor map I mean you can use your own and once I have it now I need to define one more thing and be very careful on this particular part when it says X field it is selecting X right let's say I, I, I would like to do the mistake where most people will feel I mean face the problem so my X is on Y direct I mean vertical direction in a, and if I go on map here and if I add image I got my image and if you see here this Y is coming on X field which which we do not want to happen so that's why be very careful whenever you are working on this data path tracking add image browse folder and then now X is coming right and now what would be my left side of my X so this is 0 0 and this is would be minus 3 so left minus 3 right would be up to 10 coming to X my bottom would be minus 3 and my top would be 5 right once you apply, press apply you see it is coming up and just a minute so now if you see I can do zoom in zoom out I mean this is a dummy map so please don't be bothered but ideally the path should not be crossing the walls right and this is also I mean just for this time now the very important thing now is we need to connect all these dots in a line and how can I do that if I do this now this is not making sense to me so what we are missing actually is we have to connect those lines so that it describe what's the actual path it's not describing the actual path here right to make it more visually good looking I would just select one person and you see this is coming fine but this is not the way it should be if, if I just remove the line and make it circle again you see ideally it should be this 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 and then this and then this but if I just go and select line now you see this point is connected directly to this point and then coming back and then this is not the right path so what we are missing is that's why I have created this index and if I drop it here now you see this is connecting correctly now so we are giving an another information that which number comes first and this is what happened here so if I have this index so it says this coordinate comes after this coordinate I mean I think I am making sense here now once it is done I would just remove it and now this is how my entire P I am. let me show one more thing if I select this two so you see this two are connected I mean it's not separated so what we need is actually have this ID and drop it here now you see this are separated so what I did I have dragged ID into the calculation so now it's separating based on the IDs earlier if you remember if you see it's not separated now it is separated right 
so now I can filter out and this is how my all the path looks like if you want I can just drop it here so that every path looks dissimilar but you can use instead of um, this uh, person as a color I would suggest direction would be a good so that I would know who is going from which direction to where right so this all blue lines are from quarter 3 to quarter 1 it means from this particular portion to this particular portion right now this is the very first thing which we have done now um, I believe this is very much clear but now let's come to where I was doing this particular path show I mean this is where we would be getting more insights that what actually we will do and how they travel on the I mean it's timeline kind of analysis so this is a path tracker complete path tracker now let's come to the another portion where I would be doing that progressive path right so the same exercise again x y I instead of doing all this I can do one more thing just copy duplicate right and this would be progressive path and now what I need is this all does not need to be connected through this so now this is what it is now what what I need is I need to show progressive path right so this index gives this option I mean that's why I created that index for my data and if I drag it here and now you see this one path is coming up if, if you are not aware of pages option in tableau so I would just give you give you a brief of it so in this tableau pages option what actually it happens is if I click next it just show me that particular data it does not show me anything else and through this you can control the speed of the path right you see this is for moving very fast now 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 just to understand what ha what's happening is at a given point of time each ID is coming and that index because that index is a continuous it's not breaking when a use a new user's information comes so that's why it's continuous it's just moving everywhere so now to understand few more options of pages so I have selected option highlighted manual all so at this particular time if I selected all you see all the previous paths are coming in some blurred color so this is what it happens and you can also select all or last five or ten so you see this this particular five point came only and uh, I mean there, there are some I mean you want to fa fade or not it's it's up to you which color you want all all those options so just explore I would say so let's let's come back to the main point so if I just go now you see only the last five path is being shown right I, I would just go here and just select all and then everything would be coming back again so now this is one thing but but there is a challenge here in this one I am not if, if, if let's say I, my question is how everybody's path evolve in given time so let's say there would be 10 people who would be moving in my floor and I want to know everybody's second step at one stance everybody's third step on second stance so if I am saying when they get when they intersect each other whenever anybody's path intersect each other each other so for this particular part we have to prepare a different kind of data set so just to highlight one more time in this particular one index is a continuous it does not break by having an information of another user so this id a has index up to 33 and then I mean not 33 around 34 35 but when the B starts it's again continuing from 36 so this was the challenge here so if if my question is I need to track everybody's path at given point of time what I need to do is I just need to prepare a different kind of index for my problem statement and I have prepared the another data set for this particular task and coming back here if you see whenever ID changes I change my index and I restart my index or reset my index from one again right so that when I select one everybody's one would be there so let's come back to our data sheet and now I need to add the another data file 
copy and now you see this this particular one where my index gets reset coming back here sync progressive progressive path right and now same thing again x y index has to be converted to dimension now x should be my horizontal axis so this is fine coming back to index index also is fine i mean the data set is little bit different i believe I, i'm not sure that much but i need to go and get my map for this particular part also now my heat is this one saving now coming back here x x will go up to okay here it's going up to minus 10 why okay just on it let me just check id also yes so now this is this is completely same data copy then coming to add image browse select the file now define going from minus 3 to 10 bottom minus 3 to top going up to 5 apply okay now coming back to the same problem where i mean i have already shared it that now i want everybody's first step to be shown and at, at, at a given point of time so now if i have already changed my data set drag drag it here so this zero is there i don't know why it is there let's make it one and when i have two you see this is everybody's second path if i go next everybody's third path fourth everybody's fifth path sixth path seventh path so i i can know this set of people are moving together right this set of people now they are deviating but this two people this three people are again this two people are together right so this is where i get another insight but now i can do one more thing if i just do all and i restart it again yes so now you see this 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 are the previous paths so i can just do one more thing if if you remember i can just track last their last third steps right now you see this everybody's last three steps only so this is this is his last three steps this is his last three three steps simple i hope so i did make some sense and i would be sharing all this file via link so this is how you can work on path tracking few thing to revise very important understand the path connection for the line graphs understanding how to put what column where so that this path will come very clean otherwise you would have been done the same mistake where every everything is connected with each other and also very important arrange your data set accordingly which suits your purpose so i hope you like the video Please like and subscribe technology for noobs for more this kind of hacks on different technologies. Also, if you have any doubt or if you have any other thing which where you need some help related to data science or BI, please let me know via comment. Thanks.